Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. Like the video and comment what you thought of the second leg between Bayern Munich against Barcelona. Now, I'm not really sure why I watched this match because it was already 3-0 to Barcelona. It seemed like every all hope was lost for Bayern Munich, but... I know if I didn't watch it, then it would have probably have been an epic game. Bayern would have won 3-0, and I would have missed the best game ever. But the fact that I did watch it, I still wasn't disappointed. It was still a masterclass of football. It was a pretty decent game for a neutral. It was a decent game, so I'm glad I watched it. Even though the comeback never happened, it was still a really enjoyable game. And still evidence to suggest that football outside of England is still a lot better than ours. I mean, you know, Liverpool, Chelsea, City, Man City, uh, what was it? Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal all had terrible seasons in the Champions League this season. And this game was another example of the fact that foreign football is far more superior than our football. A brilliant game, five goals in this game, three goals in the first leg, absolutely brilliant. And I actually enjoyed this match a lot. Honestly, I never thought Bayern Munich could really do it, but they should have never really got in that position anyway. Three goals against Barcelona, that was amazing first leg by Barcelona. And honestly, they were never gonna do it, but they should have never have got in that position in the first place. They're in the semi-final, Bayern Munich, an amazing team, but going 3-0 down to Barcelona in the first leg, wow, how did that ever happen? So, before the game had really started, they'd already lost, but the game still had to go on, and Bayern Munich, thankfully, they actually won the game. They won the second leg 3-2 with goal from Benashia, which was a great goal. It was an awesome corner. Benashia was, was unmarked. And he got a really good strong header into the bottom left-hand corner. And that was in the seventh minute. So at this point, I was like, wow, game on. Bayern Munich have to score two goals. And that's it. They've come back and they've done it. But was, was there any question that Barcelona weren't going to score in this game? As soon as their first goal went in, there was no question that Bayern Munich's chances of going through were absolutely gone. And that was it. It only took Barcelona. Barcelona. It only took them eight more minutes to score. And that was it. Their first goal, Barcelona. And that was it. And if you'd blinked, you would have missed it. Because it went just like that. A pass broke the defence of Bayern Munich. Just like that to Suarez. A brilliant pass. Exquisite pass to Suarez. Broke the defence of Bayern Munich in two. If you blinked, you would have missed it. And then the only thing Suarez had to do was pass it across the goal. And it was 1-0 to Barcelona. And that was pretty much that. That meant that Bayern Munich had to score four goals to go through without even conceding another goal. Ridiculous, I know. Then Barcelona, it took them another 14 minutes to, yes, score again. They scored another goal from pretty much the same position. Another goal where if you blinked, you would have missed it. A pass to Suarez, the same run that Suarez had made before. Then Neymar, unmarked at the back post, was passed from Suarez, and it wasn't an easy shot, it was on the half volley, it was a really tight angle, bottom left hand corner, if there's one guy that's going to do it, it's Neymar, a brilliant goal, but honestly, Boateng and Benashia for Bayern Munich were absolutely dreadful during this goal, Neymar, the one guy you don't want to leave unmarked to the back post, is Neymar, and they left him, both guys went after Suarez, forgot the other guy in the box, the only thing Suarez had to do, easy enough, Pass it to Neymar. It's exactly what he did. Two goals to Barcelona. And that meant Bayern had to score five to go through. From then on, it was literally mission impossible. I mean, why did they leave him unmarked at the back? Boateng and Benashia. It was all their fault. Dreadful defending. Bayern Munich, a great team. But if you're relying on Boateng and Benashia to save you... It's mission impossible. I mean, they were great going forward, Bayern Munich. They had so many shots... Didn't score as many as they wanted to, but if you've got a poor defence like that, there's no way that you're getting through to the Champions League final. But no hope was lost because Lewandowski scored a brilliant goal after the half-time whistle. Lewandowski, he shimmied for about three seconds. The defence of Barcelona had no idea what was going on, and Lewandowski scored a brilliant goal, shimmying. They had no idea what he was doing. 
With his right foot, and manages to bend a goal around a couple of the defenders and scores a brilliant goal. There's not many strikers that could have shimmied like that and made space from absolutely nothing. Rooney, Hazard are arguably the only two players that could have done that in the Premier League. Lewandowski made it look absolutely easy. And then Thomas Muller scored a great goal on the edge of the box, which, well, it was a brilliant goal. It was a great pass to Muller. And it wasn't an easy goal, but he made it absolutely look easy. But at the end of the day, they'd already shot themselves in the foot in the first leg by going three goals down. But it was still a great game, and Bayern Munich, they showed some great heart. They scored three goals, they won the second leg, but it wasn't enough in the end. There were some great goals, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, they shot themselves in the foot before the game. And it even started... By going three goals down in the first leg. But some great display of football. Bayern Munich were great going forward. They controlled the second half. Suarez was brought off after half time. They didn't really need him. But ever since they brought off Suarez. Barcelona set back. And they pretty much built a brick wall for Bayern Munich. But to their credit. They did manage to score two goals against the brick wall of Barcelona. And they did look great in the second half. They got a lot of possession in the second half. But honestly, it was mission impossible. But we still saw some great display of football. The passing from both sides was brilliant. A great display of foreign football. And really, the English football is far in superior to this match. This was absolutely brilliant display of football. A very good match to watch as a neutral. It was just sad that it was pretty much over before this... Well... It was pretty much over in the first 15 minutes when Barcelona scored that first goal. And that was pretty much that. But we still saw some nice goals. Not going to get it wrong here. Thumbs up from me. A decent goal. Very good piece of football. If I was going to give a man of the match, that would be quite difficult. But I'd have to go with Luis Suarez. He set up two goals. Well, you could either give it to Neymar or Suarez. Suarez played absolutely brilliantly in the first half. I might give it to Neymar because he played the full 90 minutes and he did get two goals for himself. I'll give it Neymar because he did get the job done for his team. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Spy your hair.